Today I'm going to be continuing on in the book of Galatians. So you will remember this is, we think, probably the first of the Pauline epistles. Almost certainly it was. Um, preceding even the Jerusalem assembly that we read about in Acts chapter 15. And we remember that Paul was writing to a church that he was deeply concerned about. And he was deeply concerned about them, not merely because they had, as the Corinthians did, they, they had some problems like uh, um, an incestuous relationship that the people were doing nothing about, uh, or uh, worship that was fundamentally disordered, a creeping egalitarianism within the congregation, things like that. He was concerned because they were losing the gospel. They were losing the, uh, the hinge upon which, as Calvin put it, salvation, the door of salvation turns and opens. Without justification by faith alone, no one can be saved. All of our religion is empty without justification by faith alone in Christ alone. And so he was, uh, he was adamant that they turn back to the gospel that he had been preaching to them and turn away from the lies of the Judaizers, the, the law uh, that these men were bringing in, saying to Gentiles that they needed to um, observe the shadows, the, uh, the ceremonies of the law, that they needed to become Jews in order to uh, be Christians. And Paul was saying, no, that is not true. We are saved by faith in Christ the Messiah, the one whom the prophet spoke of. But uh, before we get now to um, uh, the word that Paul was preaching, let's go to the one who gave Paul his word in the first place. And let's ask for his blessing. Please join me. Oh, sovereign Lord, we know that you can and do use the humblest of vessels for great things. You will.